Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you about finding joy in the mundane, especially for homemakers. It's amazing how we can turn everyday tasks into something beautiful. Today I'll share tips and ways that I try to find joy in the mundane through chores, everyday tasks, as a new mom, this is something that I know I will be learning for a long time to come, but I want to share 10 ways that I have been implementing this idea of finding joy, beauty in everyday moments, and I invite you to join me. Starting with the first one, which is making my bed every day. I think there have been studies to show that making your bed just sets your day on the right track. It just allows you to clear your mind, to accomplish a small task, which can sometimes just have a ripple effect into getting other things done. I find if I just do one thing, if I just make my bed, I will oftentimes end up tidying up our room a little bit, maybe tidying up the nursery and spending, you know, 15 or 20 minutes tidying just because I want to. So this is such a great way to just start off the day as well as doing little tidies, little pickups throughout the day. I think having spaces that are clutter free is just very helpful for our minds. It helps our brains to be clutter free. Number two, I have been trying every day to get ready each morning, taking just a few minutes to put on a little bit of makeup, do something with my hair, even if it's just putting it in a bun or a braid, something that will just kind of make me feel like I'm ready for the day, set the tone for a positive morning, a positive day. Sometimes I'll put on some jewelry, put on a little bit of makeup and I just find that that makes me feel so much more productive and just get my day starting on a good note. Number three is to create rhythms. I like to think of rhythms as just that, they're rhythms. They kind of ebb and flow. They're not super strict routines. I am someone who I do enjoy routines, but I like to think of them as more of like blocks of time. So I like the word rhythms because there's a little bit of flexibility there. I think of my day in terms of blocks. So I know the first part of the morning I am tidying up, I unload the dishwasher, getting ready for the day, doing my quiet time. The next part of the day, maybe when my baby is sleeping, I'm tackling some more chores. Late in the afternoon, I might be working on computer work or have different errands to run. So I kind of operate on throughout the day, I know what is coming next. I know around four o'clock is when I start dinner prep. And this just really helps me to be productive in my days, but also to find moments of rest. Next is to connect with other moms for fellowship. I have found this to be so helpful, especially being at home so much of the time and being alone a lot of the times. It's so wonderful to meet with another mom or another lady from church, different friends, different um, Bible groups, and to build that support system. I try to do one sort of social engagement a week and sometimes it can be hard to fit into schedules, but I'm thankful for friends that are flexible and we just make it work. And so having those regular, you know, coffee dates, or even if it's just a walk with the strollers or a play date, nurturing those relationships is so beneficial. Next is one of my favorites, and that is to practice creativity in hobbies. This for me looks like painting with my art business. I so enjoy moments of quiet when I am painting throughout the day or in the evenings, but this can also look like so many different things. Whatever sparks joy, whatever you like to do as a hobby or on your own when you just have a moment of time. For me, this also looks like just decorating my home. I really enjoy um, just the challenge of decorating and finding new things, thrifting items, doing DIY projects, and finding outlets for your creativity can bring so much joy and fulfillment in those small moments. 
I have found that planning my days is so, so helpful and beneficial. I will often do this the night before. I will sit down with my planner, my to-do list, think about the day ahead. It just helps me to be so much more organized, know what is coming if I have appointments or different things. Having a plan in place can help you feel more organized and a bit more in control of your day, even on the busiest of days. Taking a few minutes, just jot down before bed your to-do list, what's coming up. I also like to stick to three to five top priority things. That could be anything from housework to work to things out of the home. That just helps me to really focus on those things and anything else that I get done is just extra. Something I've been trying to implement more recently is to wake up before my baby. This is obviously something that's not going to be doable in every season for myself when I had a newborn. We were getting up at the same time and that was really beautiful in its own way, but now that we're on a bit more of a schedule, I'm really enjoying getting up before him. That allows me to start my day with a few moments of peace and quiet, set a positive tone for the rest of the day, have my coffee, chat with my husband, get um, some reading in, and just enjoy the quiet stillness of the morning before our day really picks up. This next one is one that I've been thinking about more recently, and it is to replace everyday items with more beautiful things that spark joy. Surrounding ourselves with items and things that just in that we enjoy. This doesn't necessarily need to be a materialistic mindset. Of course, we don't want to put our stake and our hope in physical objects, but I have found, for example, just replacing a normal plastic laundry basket with a wicker one. I've thrifted a couple of these for our laundry and I genuinely enjoy doing laundry more because it's in a prettier basket. So whether it's a colorful mug or a cozy throw blanket, having these little things just spark joy. They can bring just a little bit of warmth of coziness to our everyday. Getting outside and spending time in nature I have found is one of the most rejuvenating things to just take a break to breathe, to enjoy God's creation, to get fresh air, exercise. There's so many benefits. I know that it's it's proven science that this is so beneficial. So I've been trying to do a walk a day or just get outside for a walk. I've try been trying to do this the last couple weeks for every day. And I, I just noticed such a difference. I can't even think of a time where I have gone outside and come home feeling worse. <laughs> if I'm sometimes in a funk or I'm just feeling super overwhelmed, just go for a walk. And it's amazing that just the fresh air, the stillness will just almost restart um, my mind and even my emotions. It'll give, um, you know, you've got those endorphins going. I mean, there's just so, so many benefits. This last one is also one of my favorites, and it's to focus on the five senses when creating coziness. So this is something that I really love to keep in mind when we're at home, when we're having people over, when I'm maybe decorating a little bit. I love to think of sound. I will often have music playing in the morning, um, cozy music. I will have my candles in the evening sometimes if I'm baking in the evening. Lighting a candle just makes that experience so much more enjoyable. Again, having tactile things like blankets, pillows, warmth, um, you know, fireplace, all these things God has given us to really just bring uh, comfort and joy. And so thinking of the five senses can help us to create a warm, inviting atmosphere and something that I really enjoy kind of piecing together and thinking how can I use these different things the senses that God has given us and strategically um, have things in our home that just make us feel really comforted and at home 
So I hope these little tips have inspired you today and given you just a couple of ideas. I know there are so many more and I would love to hear what you would add to this list so that I can learn from you. I just love hearing from you in the comments and I would love to hear how you find joy in the mundane or beauty in those everyday moments. I would love to know and thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.